So now when we look at a body graph, we can see that there are centers that are undefined. So I've just highlighted them for you. And in Raquel's case, she's got these open centers. So the inspiration function, which is in the not self losing focus, but in the recognition of how to profit, you can see that we have a gate activation there, 63. So this one is her conscious Mars, which is ah, immature energy dynamics. Okay, it's in the fourth line. So that is not a natural money receptor because the natural money receptors are the third line. Remember I said that the third line is the material way. So we can see that that's not a material way line for her that's gonna be a natural receptor site. So now the other place that we can see down here is that there's an Ashna center where we have 47, one, two, three, four times. So we can see that that's a huge influence in Raquel's life, her mind. This is the, the Ashna center, which is about conceptualization. So there's the third line. There's the profit potential line that I wanna focus on with her chart. It's unconscious. Because it's unconscious, I'm going to keep moving and look through the entire design before I come back to it and talk about it a bit, because there's another one that I want to highlight. But before we get down there, 43, as you can see, she's got it twice. Do we have a third line there? We do not. So I'm just going to pass right on by that one and go down to this one right here, the 26, because I can see it right there. And her unconscious communication and thinking mercury is right there in the heart center heart center being about our for her this is the center of the material way stream and it is a part of the expression gates for the stream of instinct so here the stream of instinct it is the expression trait or gate. And this is where we have a tremendous profit potential for Raquel. Okay, so let's take a look at the other two centers. This one has nothing there. So I'll, I'll come back to in just a moment. And the, the 15, as we can see here, it's her Jupiter. So unconscious law and protection, we know that that's going to be really important to her financial success, but it's not a money line. So I'm not going to really focus on that because today I just want to focus on demonstrating the material way of the third lines in your design. So in this design, you can see that Raquel has other third lines, this one right over here and one right here, but they're both in a defined state down here. So although they still have a material way, they're locked into definition and that is the consistent way that she's just going to be herself. Where we have openness, where we have potential profiting is where we learn wisdom. And the places where we learn wisdom are in undefined centers. So in order to develop wisdom, we have to have unattached observation of the openness. Unattached observation of the openness means that you do not misidentify with the openness as reasons for making a decision. In Raquel's case, she's designed to respond over time and have emotional clarity dictate the choices in her life. So like I did last time when we um, introduced this subject to you in the series, I want to remind everyone that if you do not follow your strategy and authority, the things that I'm telling you about can mislead you and take you off track if you make choices from these places. Oh, Lavina told me I'm supposed to make money with this, so I'll just go do that rather than wait for the response and the emotional clarity. Okay, so just a reminder, here we're talking about Raquel's material way and because this unconscious mercury is in the material way stream itself, we're going to really focus right here. But I said I was gonna come back to here and this is the, the, the place I want to be Ken because what happens in a totally open state of the body graph in the totally open state where the body graph is undefined. You can see here very clearly that there's no gate activations and there's no channel definition that creates a consistent function here. This is the splenic center and the splenic center is the home for our instincts, our material, individual and tasteful um, pattern recognition, intuition, and our in instincts for ma making money. This is totally open here. 
And when it's totally opens, it means that this person did not come into this life with a particular filter or a way specific to their life. The entire life is like a clean slate. And mystically, what Ross says that is that in the past, when Raquel was working over her lifetimes, you know, the eons of being born and having um, death and rebirth and life and learning, she actually mastered everything there is to know about all the experiences of the splenic center. Splenic center being our oldest center, period, that is an awareness center that is going to allow us to learn about the physical, tactile, material way of being a mammal. And here as a human, we are now uh, experiments of consciousness and form, self-reflective consciousness, because we, besides just the mammal design, we now have a mind construct that is self-reflective. So how do we make money with the spleen? The splenic center itself is learning how to let go, let go, let go. That's the true self, learning to let go, the let go of the fears for our survival, the let go of having to know intuition-wise and taste-wise everything about anything that has to do with the physical mundane reality, making money, uh, taking care of others, you know, supporting the tribe, all kinds of things that have to do with your physical, tactile, human experience of being in a body. So the not self tends to hold on to things that are not healthy. And Raquel is achieving her PhD in this life of now learning to let go of anything that is not healthy. So what can she do as far as the material way is concerned is help people learn how to let go. How can we let go of those fears that overwhelm us? How can we let go of those fears that terrify us? These are some of the things that she's dealt with her whole life. So that's any place that we have, I'm going to go back to cleaning this up, any place that we have a totally open center it's our deepest area of conditioning. And yet on the flip side, our greatest area of potential wisdom. So as an example between myself and Raquel, we often find this is the case. What happens is people are attracted to difference. In my design, I have a 32 and a 44 and a 21. And this is again, the stream of capitalism. So one of the pieces that I bring in to, in my advising of Raquel, here I have a 23 that also helps support in her design and the empowerment of her in her life process. What happens is in the dynamics of us with an other, we learn about that channel, that life force. And this is inconsistent in her design as well as mine. But together, we now have a stream that can make money, that can profit if it's in alignment between her recognizing and inviting me, she is a manifesting generator. And both of us being emotionally clear, me on who she is, her on who she is for herself, because that is the dynamic of how the mechanics work between a projector and a manifesting generator. Okay, so we're looking at somebody who can teach others to learn to let go because she herself has perhaps made the mistake. Remember the third line is the material way. We learn through trial and error, made the mistake of holding on to people that don't serve her. Not only people, but places as well. Not only places, but maybe jobs, because this is about jobs. This is about work right here. Yeah, stream of capitalism. So how do we let go of those conditioned habits thinking that we have to, must, should, in order to ensure our physical safety and security and our material well-being, because those are wisdom potentials for her. So again, in correct alignment, when she's operating as who she is for herself, because she is emotionally clear, these things such as the material success in one's life is going to naturally flow in alignment. And when you let go of trying to control your life, Raquel, 
your life is perfectly financed, to quote Ra Wu Hu. So what happens with the 45 particularly is that the 45 thinks it has to control, okay? And that's the not self or the uh, learning specific to Raquel's openness in this design that she's here to uh, recognize and to learn in profiting. So again, here we're talking about a different profit potential. Back to this really important one. This is the Mercury, our communication and thinking, and you can see it's in the third line, and that is a material way line. Now, anytime we have anything in the unconscious activations over here on the left-hand side of the body graph, anything that's unconscious to the conscious personality, we do not have conscious recognition of how this comes out until after the fact. So now that we've told Raquel, hey, can you recognize that your unconscious communication, sometimes, you know, you have this capability of reframing things for people. This is a memory control gate, the 26 is, because this is part of the memory circuit as well, this, these activations here. So the control of the tribal memory in order to support material well-being and success this is where Raquel has a lot of profit potential. So as an example, um, I find that people who are really into um, hypnosis will either have this or the other side, the 44 or the 26. And I know from Raquel's experience that she actually did go to a hypnotherapy training school amongst the other certifications that she has. So in reframing the way someone's memory works, she can help support that person to feel better about what? Their own self-esteem. So 65% of the population are undefined here in the heart center and approximately 50% in the splenic center. So as far as looking at the body graph, again, remember, if your body graph was a business plan, these undefined centers are places of potential profit, profit centers, okay? So uh, since I don't have an assistant today, I'm just going to pop over to the chat. Yeah, and see Naraya as well. She's got the 44. She's a certified hypnotist as well. And um, I have the 44. I'm a, a hypnotist as well. My, my husband has the 26. He's a hypnotherapist as well. So it's just something that I've noticed. Uh, either interest in that or interest in past lives. Because remember, the 44 is fear of the past. And this is the instinctive smell potential of not only our own physical past, like, you know, childhood smelling, you know, grandpa's cologne or grandma's fresh baked cookies, but also genetically speaking in your cellular memory, cellular memory right there back in, you know, down our um, genetic line, our physical genetic line. So the, this is something that she's going to have an unconscious interest in. And if she's passionate about that kind of reframe in support of the tribe, what she can do is a profit potential. The undefined heart center does not know its own well-being as far as its physical um, supportive nature of its ability to have self-esteem and self-value and self-worth. 65% out there running around trying to prove they are worthy by making promises they cannot keep, initiating promises, you know, however it is that they're designed to function not operating in alignment, leading to further breaking of the ego, breaking of the immune system, breaking of the stomach, breaking of the gall, or um, physical ailments of those organ systems because they are initiating out of a sense of lack of self-esteem or lack of self-worth, being overly competitive, whatever the case may be. So Raquel, as far as your work with others, if this is something that you find that you really enjoy and are passionate about, and I say that because a manifesting generator must do what they have energy for, and this is about who you are for yourself. It's not your life in service to others, but what brings your, your life, the desire of your felt sense of your imagination that is an innocent nature of who you are 
for yourself. And I say innocent because Raquel is a sixth color underneath innocent motivation. In doing who, being who you are for yourself in response and with emotional clarity over time, it may be that these activations here are gonna be helpful. Now let's continue on in looking at undefined, just real briefly, but not from a third line perspective. Undefined G, people are able to reflect others. And this is part of where she has part of her law and protection to be accepting of others extremes. So not about knowing who she herself is, but being able to reflect others when they're in her aura and be wise about love particularly, and of course, wise about direction, the identity of who others are. So that is something that she can also um, profit from. Roles, what are the correct roles for these other people when they're in her life through response and emotional clarity to be able to help support others with not only their self-esteem, but their identity, okay? As far as what's going to be healthy to let go of in this life, rather than trying to just do things for the money, because it's money isn't everything, but to do things because we are passionate about it, because it's what we have energy for. One thing that I noticed that people do, particularly generators who um, maybe have had long-term conditioning, and I know that that's something that Raquel has told me about on, over the lifetime, doing things because you think it's going to earn you love or approval or make you enough money rather than doing the things that make your soul sing that height that light you up inside that give you a reason for living living and a reason for being okay now the last place the mind head center inspiration function ajna center conceptualization she can make money in reflection of others not mental certainty not her own inspiration but recognizing who out there is inspiring and is certain so again disassociating with the mind inside of the head about the self is really really important if we are to profit correctly as yourself so profiting by being you means you have to first and foremost always wait for the response, wait for the emotional clarity before, you know, donning different roles or doing different things for the money. Okay, so how do we know if we're on the right track? With a sacral center being, we always look primarily first and foremost for the satisfaction in the life. Satisfaction is going to be the dominating frequency if this person is operating in alignment. If not operating in alignment, frustration. Okay, so just two places of course correction. Satisfaction, smooth ride, frustration, like the bumps on the side of the road. They're taking you off your path. Okay, so hopefully uh, Raquel, that was helpful for you. If you are interested in learning how to become a living your design guide, you do not have to want to become a certified guide if you want to take just the training portion of this program. And that is going to be coming up as far as the open house next month, August 22nd, uh, 10 a.m. here in Arizona, Sedona, Arizona is where I'm at, broadcasting to you live. So with that being said now, if we go into the other course that I have also coming up. So I use this profit potential coaching information for all of my students and clients who want to know how they're here to master the material plane or how they're here to be materially successful. So instead of just, you know, teaching courses, as an example here, one of the certification courses we have is learning how to be a professional living your design guide. Rather than just giving somebody a certification and off they go, I prefer to make sure that they are empowered and supported in being successful materially if this is what they would like to do as far as part of their work in the world. It's near and dear to my heart that people are successful, particularly my clients, my students. So I want to make sure that they're empowered. And uh, also, I use this profit potential coaching material in my projector success secrets series.